Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Rebecca. I'm Kat. And today we're going to be working with plaster. We got perfect plaster from the Amazons. Um, if you want this exact one, I'll link it in the description box. Um, we don't have like affiliate links or anything, so we're not getting anything from you clicking on it. No. So, put that aside. It's very inexpensive, honestly, for the amount we get. So the instructions say two parts plaster, one part water. So here is our one part of water, water. going in. And then it says pour the plaster into the water while stirring. Kind of like when you add dry ingredients to your wet ingredients in baking. And we're just using cheap plastic cups that we got from Dollar Tree, and we'll be using for other plaster projects. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have to stir this until the lumpies come out. Now that it is stirred, I'm just gonna set the stick there us to tap it on the table to bring up any air bubbles. Mm. Now we pour into the molds to not overfill. Okay, so now we have to just let it cure for, I think it says 30 minutes. Let dry at least 30 minutes, remove from mold, and then air dry for approximate, approximately 24 hours. So, we'll wait 30 minutes and we'll demold. Okay, it has been a half an hour. This still feels a little wet, but it says it does take 24 hours to air dry um, and it's warm. I didn't know, I didn't realize plaster got warm because I never was, the last time I did plaster was in school, like young school. Mm -hmm. And obviously we didn't, we weren't there when it cured because we left it overnight and it was in like a little wax Dixie cup. But anyway, okay, so Let's okay. start with this one since this was the first one poured. I think it did. Oh. 
Dang it. So you have to be very gentle when you demold these. Other than that, it still looks pretty cool. I just have to sand the bottom. Try and figure out if I can glue these pieces back in it. That's still pretty cool. Just need to be careful with the demolding process, okay. I say use molds with thinner silicone, more flexible silicone. Like these, these would probably be super easy to demold them because you can Baby. really bend these. Maybe. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. Apparently we didn't tap it enough to get the air bubbles out. This one's easier because it doesn't have like it's thinner. Yeah, it doesn't have like thin edges that can get messed up too easily. Oh, there's a lot of air bubbles in this one, but it still looks cool. Yeah, mine oh, has a ton of air bubbles around the edges. edges. No, it won't go on. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, it's got air bubbles. So we have to, you know, it's still. Looks it's our first cute. time doing it. Okay. And for us, this is this will be our thing. Right. So, so we can, you know, we just gotta let it try the right owl. Right this owl. It looks really cool though. Got a couple air bubbles, but it's pretty good. Okay, I'm good. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> so yeah, for casting thick things like this, it's good. Um, for these, we have to figure out get, how to get the air bubbles out better. And uh, because there's an air bubble up here at the top of the ribbon part, right there, and around the edges. Mine's around the edge. And then this, it broke on those parts, and then there's a little air bubble right here. Yeah, you can see the air bubble on the edge there. And there's a couple air bubbles over there. I don't know if you can see them very well, but they're not bad. So we'll figure out how to fix those. Oh, there it goes better. But anyway, so now we have to let them dry overnight um, completely and we'll show you what they look like then. Okay, so it has been uh, over 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what they look like now. The box part. They're very smooth feeling on the sides. Um, I scratched this one up a bit when I took it out. I don't know if you can see the scratches, but anyway, very smooth. Um, so the tops look fine, like you don't see anything, but then as soon as you turn it, there's like air bubbles right at the corners. I, I have, have an air bubble here. on the top here. So. What we're going to do to finish these, we're just going to paint them or um, you could probably just use clear Mod Podge around it if you want to keep it this color. Um, but yeah, so 
Yeah, we're just gonna use some acrylic paints. Paint them however we want. These, we're keeping these for ourselves. We might make some more to sell mm -hmm. if we can get them in good condition. We're also gonna see if we can use spackle to, to fill, fill the these in. Mm -hmm. um, so we will keep you updated on that. Or maybe we'll make a video to see if the spackle works with one of our experiment video, mm -hmm. experiment videos. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have to figure out how to get these air bubbles out when we make them. Um, because yeah, obviously we don't want all these air bubbles. We did what the instructions say. Mm -hmm. We tacked the crap out of them. But anyway. So we will paint these and we will put a final, um, what is it called? Final products. Final, mm -hmm. we'll put the finished product, that's what it's called, mm -hmm. um, on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below um, your experience with plaster, and I, re uh, it dawned on me why we were surprised about the heating up. The plaster we used in school was plaster of Paris. Different stuff, which I also want to do experiments with that, but different stuff. So anyway. Comment down below with your experience with plaster or other videos you'd like to see from us. And subscribe for new videos every day at noon central time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.